Welcome to Simply Caroline, a podcast dedicated to women empowerment where we will discuss a bunch of different subjects such as life, parenting, love, business, money, relationships, healing, recovery, addiction, entrepreneurship, and so much more. A podcast I'll do my best to keep simple, fun, and relatable and bring you tools to help you better your life. So thank you for being here. And here's your host, myself, Caroline Blanchard. Hello, everyone, and thank you for being with us this week. I have a really powerful and empowered woman with me today that I absolutely love, Maureen Vincetti. How are you? Hi, I'm so great. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So Maureen is our legal expert. For those of you who have been following the whole year, uh, you know, she's been on before talking about how to be legally smart. And um, today we're going to talk about, you know, again, how to be legally smart, but also how to how knowing what you're doing can empower you in all of your decisions. So Maureen, first... What brought you into law? Yeah, COVID. <laughs> oh, that COVID, eh? Okay, yeah. Did so much. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I used to love um, all the legal shows. I remember growing up, my mom was obsessed with uh, Law and Order SVU, and then I loved Suits. In that show, The Good Wife. I always love those sorts of dramas. Um, but yeah, no, I never actually had any professional plans of being in the legal field, especially with like multi-level marketing, legal company, Legal Shield, which I'm an executive director in. Um, yeah, that was all COVID. All COVID and my friend harassing me for about three months before she broke me down. And it ended up being the biggest blessing ever. And now I'm obsessed. <laughs> okay, so what made you break down? What was the point? What information did you discover that you were just like, I need to bring this to light? Yeah, so I mean, how she signed me up for Legal Shield was actually, so I, Legal so Legal Shield's interesting because it's it's a, technically a, a network marketing company, but that's just one, one side of it. It's different because it's service-based. So I was one of those like pyramid people wanted nothing ever to do with anything having to do with network marketing. I didn't understand. I was always in my little safe corporate bubble. And then my health coaching business I had for seven years pre-COVID. Um, and the only, I, I had friends that were in, you know, doTERRA and Young Living and Modere and other, and they loved it. But I was like, it's just, it's not, not for me. Um, and so with this, she was just in the opportunity side of it. So she was coming at me hardcore for three months. I'm going to talk to you. And I was like, if you talk to me about this legal crap one more time, I swear to God, our friendship's going to be over. <laughs> you know? But I really needed help because I lost all my speaking gigs for the health coaching. Mm. And so um, I would pray and I would pray and I would pray. And every morning I said, God, please show me a way I can help people at a lower price point and make a difference. And sure enough, within 10 or 15 minutes, Angie would call me. I wasn't connecting the dots then yet, but it was an answer to prayer. She's like, legal shield. I was like, oh my gosh, knock it off, you know, stop. And so one night, and we've done transformational leadership training together as well. It's how I knew her. And in the leadership trainings, we talk about creating level 10 relationships in every area of your life, whether it's friends, husband, you know, family. And if it's not a level 10, if it's an eight, if it's a four, you can figure out what's in the gap and what do you need to do to create it such that it's a level 10. So she used leadership terminology on me. So I was in the grocery store shopping. She called me at 9.56 p.m. And she said, scale of one to 10, what's our relationship? I said, ew, 10, why? <laughs> she goes, okay, you don't have to do anything. If you sign up as an associate on my team, you get this bonus. And I said, okay, fine. I'll give you my credit card tomorrow. Do whatever you need to do. Then never talk to me about this legal crap ever again. She's like, really? I said, yeah, win-win. She's like, okay, but there's a problem. And I said, what? She's like, we have four minutes. It's midnight central time. I got to get this in or I don't get this bonus. I was like, oh my. So I left my shopping groceries there. I ran to the parking lot, pulled out my credit card, but like down to the wire. Cause I'll always help my best friends. If one of my best friends said, Hey, look, I left my corporate job. It's been on my heart to make purple voodoo dolls with fur and sell them on Etsy. I'll be like, how many do you want me to buy? But don't expect me to display them on my bookshelf. Okay. Like I got you. I will support you and then leave me alone. Right. 
So I was technically in the system and it still wasn't until a couple weeks later because it, it didn't make sense to me why the services were so, I don't want to say cheap now because that tarnished it. In my brain at the mind, cheap. I assumed that it was crap service. Mm -hmm. And so being the research performer scientist that I am, I still was like, what is wrong with this? Who's getting screwed over somewhere? The attorneys, the associates, it, it, it didn't make sense to me. So I'm YouTubing videos. I'm looking at attorney testimonials. I'm trying to break down the compensation plan. I'm asking my friend, Angie, but she's what we call promoter personnel. She's like, I don't know how any of the numbers work. I just know I get paid. Okay, call corporate, find another. I was just like, oh my gosh, I need the data. <laughs> you know? And then I finally like figured out how it all worked. And I was, I was almost angry because I was so committed to wanting to be right. Like, I don't know why I thought I was going to poke a hole in a 48 year old company at the time. It was two years ago. And once I enrolled myself in it, then it was like game over. I was like, gosh, dang it. This company actually sounds pretty cool. Then I fell in love with the services. I don't really do the network marketing side of it anymore. I realized I have such a an incredible online community of coaches like I was entrepreneurs and women I was just like wow so I'm more about like just selling the membership and the services and I created my legally smart platform to do the front and back end and coaching because legal shields like a when I tell people it's like a really great high-end gym membership but if you have no idea how to work out or what to do once you go to the gym you're not going to go and then it's just something you're paying for every month so I can sign people up for the right plans, but what I've had a lot of fun doing, because that's what I love doing anyways, I'm the coach, I'm the educator, you know, now it's just, I get to do it with legal versus health and wellness and some of the other things that I used to coach around before. And I realized no one's really doing it. Like there's not legal coaches out there. So um, as much as I loved health coaching, there's so many, like people are okay. I was really good at it, but it's not needed in that space. But this is a way I felt kind of God put me in the path to really help all my friends, all the coaches, business owners, online entrepreneurs, women to feel empowered, protected. Um, and yeah, so that was. Yeah, really well, legal coaches are called lawyers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they come at a very expensive price. No, I don't charge 500 an hour. My legal coaching is free. I just help people understand how to use the services. Yeah. I have to say that your personal website is absolutely amazing. There's so many resources on that. And, you know, the emails that you send, I want to say weekly um, because I did sign up with Maureen as well. Um, it's just very, you know, good information. And uh, for me, it's also always a good reminder of like, Carolyn, you need to do that. Like when you send the ones about the will, I'm like, oh, I still have to do it, you know, updated because mine was made, I don't know now, probably seven years ago. Um, but the point is like to, to read these little reminders, I'm like, geez, we need to do it. And you're right, like everything goes well until not everything goes well. You know, um, we were talking about trademark just before the interview and I'm like, yeah, we'll, we'll look into it. And you're like, no, look into it now. And I, I get this perspective because right now I feel comfortable and I'm like, oh, I have something, other things that are more pressing and everything. But the day that I call you and I'm like, Maureen, you know, everything like collapse and blah, blah, blah. You'll be like, I told you to do, yeah. you know, trademark your, your things. So um, I'm one of the ones that used to think, you know, if you protect everything and you, you think about the worst and prepare for the worst, the worst is going to happen. So just, you know, be cool with things and I would not plan. But what are your main things that you want to tell everyone, like whether you have a business or not, that we need to have? Like it's not a, a, a maybe it's a need. Yeah. No, and um, I think you'll, you'll put it in the show notes too. So there's like, a, I just call it the legal checklist essentials. So it's all in there. But when I do my... I protect your empire master classes um, before because all the personal stuff applies to even business owners. So the personal stuff is like like you just shared with the estate planning. I thought too. Um, I don't need my estate planning done. I'm single. I just have cats. I but I did have assets. You know, I, I do have two cats that I've had for ten years. I mean, we're in it together. If something happens to me. I care what happens to them. Cars, money, whatever it is. 
Um, I know it's a little different in Canada, but in the US, like the court holds all that stuff. It just doesn't automatically go to next of kin like we think. It just won't go to my dad or my sister. They can charge probate, which is basically their fee of paying them an hourly rate until they decide what to do with all of your assets. Wow. And then what's left over, some states are as high as 80%, 80% they'll hold in probate. Um, so even if you don't have family or stuff, like what charity do you want to leave things to? What do you want to um, do if something like I had a, I had a really bad car accident. And so I had to go in under general anesthesia last year, like for a spinal epidural for them to do. I mean, minor outpatient thing, but they put me under and the nurses had asked me, do you have, you know, um, an advanced directive or a, a living will? And I'm like, well, with Legal Shield, it's all done for free. And I'm like, no, but I will on Monday for the next one to get it done. Cause I never thought about that. My dad was picking me up to take me home. But I'm like, if some, if I were to have some weird reaction to it, I, I didn't know. I never had been in that position where I thought, do I want to be on life support? Do I not want to be on life support? Again, I think a lot of us avoid it because these aren't really fun things to think about, but we still have to. And unfortunately with legal, even when it, if it's personal or business, like you were even talking about the trademarks, and I did this with my health coaching business. It's easy for us to always put things off because there's no deadline. It's like taxes aren't fun either, but we know that if you don't do them by April 15th, like you're in trouble, right? So it's an incentive to get it done or to file for a deadline, but there's no external accountability when it comes to dealing with these things for our personal life or our business. Um, and so we will we'll get away with a lot of it with just not doing it at all because it's either too expensive um, or it's overwhelming. And so we put it off and then it's when something bad happens. It's kind of like getting that really bad medical diagnosis. Now you want to take care of your health. Yeah, so now you want to cut junk food. <laughs> right. Before you, we were, you were kind of getting away with it and coasting along. So I like to tell everyone, think about it like, like you would take care of your health. You, it's so much easier. It might not be fun to give up some of the pizza and the ice cream now or the alcohol, right? But it's a lot better to be proactive and preventive versus reactive and defensive. Yeah, and I wanna, I wanna share a little story here because it ties into what you said when you went to the hospital because I'm in Canada. Uh, so, and I'm sure it's pretty much the same things, but I was visiting a friend who was visiting, visiting his mother. She had something in the hand that was bothering her. They put her on observation. One thing led to the other. The next day while I'm there, the doctor comes and um, they're like, we need to perform a surgery. So what's the life, what's the measures after, like if ever something happens, do we resuscitate or we let go? And I was just standing there like, why am I in this discussion? <laughs> you know, I'm like, just met the lady, but the son too was like, did not know what to say. And it's when you're in the moment like that, it's not the time to start having those big discussions. It's the time to give the answer. So you're absolutely right. Like by making these decisions beforehand, you relieve all the ones that you love from having to make a decision or whatever. It's like, it's your will. But talk to me, like, let's go with the most simple thing here, the will, because I know that that's a thing that I, I did put off forever. And I actually only did one when I bought my house because I felt, okay, now I clearly have something to leave. Um, but what's the first step and how easy it, it is, is it with doing it with you? Yeah, with Legal Shield, our family plan is $29.95 a month. That is the bread and butter of the company that includes you as an individual or partner and dependent still living at home under the age of 26. And that's like the bread and butter of the company. Um, and one of the biggest benefits of it is getting your basic estate planning done. So a will, living will, healthcare, power, returning financial proxy, and updated annually. So that saves most people $1,500 to $2,000 right there. And it's really easy. They, you call the law firm that is contracted with Legal Shield in your state, and the attorneys will send you a will questionnaire. Um, and you go through and you fill all that out and then you send it back over to them and they'll ask you some more questions and help you fill in the gaps. 
And within as soon as two weeks, you can have it notarized and you have an official, you know, will done in whatever basic estate planning. And it's important to get updated annually too. It's funny, I was talking with one of my friends. I was well, I was doing a protect your empire masterclass. And so I go through wills with the personal and you know, I say, okay, if this is you, don't feel bad, but over 60% of Americans, Canadians actually don't have basic estate planning done. And so someone put in the comments, like, I have mine done. And I was like, great, when did you get it done? She's like, 10 years ago. I said, okay, how many kids do you have? She said, four kids. I said, how old are your kids? She goes, 12, 9, 7, and 6. I said, awesome. So what you're telling me is the last three are not in the will. So we probably want to get that updated. And she kind of laughed, right? She didn't even think about it. So like had something happened to her and her husband, again, it's the 12 year old would have the been favorite able to is getting ever. everything. Yeah. And then the other three, the courts would have decided actually who's getting custody of these kids. It doesn't automatically go to where wherever they designated the 12 year old to be cared for. So, or, you know, if, if you have any life changes, if you get married, divorced, like I had my, so I've been with Legal Shield now for two years. So I got my first will done when I was still living in California. And then when I moved to Florida um, last year, I was like, oh, I need, I need, I get to get my will updated. It's included. It doesn't cost me anything. I've now moved. I have more assets from a different investment I made with some stocks. Um, and so since it's free to do every year, just go ahead and get it, get it updated, get it current. Some of the laws might change. Um, and so I would just, I, easy suggestion is just like we do our taxes every year, other things. So just put it on the annual checklist. And now when it's included and there's no additional cost, it's not as I think overwhelming and doesn't need to go on the back burner. And once you have that first experience of doing it with Legal Shield and, and hand, you know, the attorneys and how easy it is with the questionnaire, it doesn't actually have to take a lot of time and having someone walk you through it. Um, I think I think it's it's something that will be easy for people. And to I have to admit, it's a very low fee every month. Yeah. And um, yes, it's a fee we don't want to pay, you know, because hey, one's in or out. Yeah, any fee, you know, but it saves so much, um, you know, possible expenses. So just I, I just want to really tell everyone like. Well, make a, a conscious decision of looking yeah. at your situation and correcting it yeah. and i'm gonna i'm gonna promise that by the end of 2027 no by 2022 <laughs> mine will be updated yeah I'm not on my watch you're in my you're in my network you know, yeah. i will not be wait till 2027 so yeah exactly no by 2022 i need to stop procrastinating because that's a places that you it's not good procrastinating um but well, you know why i do the um you know in the in the community that i created the free membership site i you know i'm actually doing one right after we we get off here recording this i do implementation workshops so they're they're optional but a part of it's just accountability so for everyone that has the membership in my community I'll put a different topic. I'm like, okay, let's get that client contract just done off the list. We play music, we hang out on Zoom. So we did estate planning last week. We're gonna do actually a power of attorney today. They can request the consult just so it's like they can put it on their calendar. And it's just something that we can all do together to get off the list. Cause that is, that is one of the things too. It's like a lot of us know we need to do, whether it's with our health goal or something else, but unless there's that like external accountability or a deadline, you know that we're that we're doing uh to i don't know i, I work really well with external deadlines yeah unfortunately this one we don't know <laughs> it's personalized to everyone and we don't know yours <laughs> so and you don't know yours yeah you know, i get it and i i love these accountability meetings um we have them too on my team and you know i feel like it's becoming something that is a bit more popular because yeah. we do need that human connection of of you know i'm not gonna do it alone and i have to show up because i sign up for something so so someone somewhere will know i did not show up so i'm not gonna look like a fool i'll go and i'll do my stuff so that's you know it's i actually had my personal trainer like my master personal trainer certs i was a collegiate athlete i used to compete in crossfit and there was some time in my late 20s where i had like a fitness school and i actually hired a personal trainer even though i knew how to do it all myself because i knew if i didn't have like a monday wednesday friday 
appointment on my calendar to actually go to the gym like I was not gonna go I was like man I just want to watch Netflix man maybe I'll go tomorrow I just want to sleep in today so like I knew my blind spots and I was like okay if this if this vision and goal is really important to me like what what checks and balances and things can I actually put in place and implement so I can you know get out of my own way (laughs) basically (laughs) So, you know, and, and it's funny that, you know, for a personal trainer, when you say that everyone gets it, everyone gets it. Not everyone has a personal trainer, but everyone understands why someone would hire one. But then when we fall into like coaches for different subjects or, you know, legal like you, you're kind of a legal coach. Let's call you a legal coach. You're the in-between between a lawyer and, um, you know, uh, just a regular person. So. A legal coach. These are all coaches that we need. Mm-hmm. We don't, yeah, really we don't like, charge anything. Yeah, I'm like, I know. I'm like a free legal coach. So really, it's like we pay a hundred dollars an hour for a personal training session, and the packages that I can offer people with Legal Shield and ID Shield for business, personal, and ID. The normal package that does everything is like eighty dollars a month. So it's less than one personal training session. And it covers their business. It's like they're hiring a legal department. And sometimes people are just like, oh, it's too much money. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you so- just have beach body supplement shakes that are going to sit in your, your closet and you're never even ever going to drink for like 150 bucks a month. Sorry if you're in beach body, nothing against it. They taste really good. But it's just funny to me. Like, or I'll go, or it's like one dinner out, but it's it's just like, yeah, the things our brain does with stuff that we don't actually want to deal with or pay for, you know. I actually did a post on Facebook about two years ago, and it was my most liked post of all the posts I did in my history of Facebook. But it's putting everything in perspective, mm-hmm. you know. So someone will say, oh, my goodness, it's expensive to pay, let's say, $80 for a physio uh, session, but they will go out on a Friday and have a bottle of wine and a, yeah. a supper and everything and martinis and, and buffalo wings. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's all about priorities, and I think that as we get older, and that's one thing for me that really happened is that you realize that you are your biggest piece of real estate. So you need to invest in you because you're the only thing that will be left at the end as well. So you yeah. want to invest in better health. You want to invest in protecting yourself. You want to invest into, you know, vitamins, exercise, whatever. But I, I also think like we can't judge where people are spending their money, but there's uh-huh. nothing that is too expensive. It all goes with your rank of priorities. And well, even I will say you get you get it back too. So it's like legal the legal shield plans, you get a law firm on retainer if you have a business there's business plans or we can add the home-based business supplement which is 15 dollars. so for 45 bucks a month if you're a coach like i am or like so much my community you have business contracts reviewed everything else but then like i've even used them to get a refund for me harmony i was like i'm ready to date but do we harmony creepiest experience my life because i'm legally smart i went down to their terms and conditions and saw that i could get a full refund within 72 hours so in 24 hours after some guy asked me how many gallons of nutella it would take to cover my entire body i was like i'm done <laughs> and i think god is not giving me my <laughs> and i had spent like 400 because i'm committed to finding my my the love of my life so i had done like the 400 dollar pay in full for the year to get the discount and i was like no and so they you're like, you're not my type. Nutella has palm tree oil, and I really don't use that. And yeah, it's never kind of scary. milk chocolate, not dark chocolate. So um, I, I oh asked gosh. them, and they wouldn't give it to me. But I was like, wait a second, I have Legal Shield. So Legal Shield represented me as my firm, wrote a letter to eHarmony on my behalf. Guess who magically got a refund the next day into their account? And that's the cool thing about it. I've used them to get refunded when I felt like I was being overcharged as a woman by a mechanic. I'm like, I don't know enough. Like I know, you know, and as soon as I said my attorney. And so like in the real world, also, we're never going to pay $500 an hour to get a $400 refund on something. You know, so part of, part of what I love doing too, like I really love that gym analogy, maybe because I just used to be a personal trainer and a health coach. But Legal Shield truly is like having, whether it's business or personal, because you have unlimited consultations with the law firm. So it's like having that high-end gym membership. 
And so part of what I love doing as a legal coach and with my like coaching platform um, is like, I want to really teach people how to maximize their use out of it. I'm like, I want all my members to be the person that goes to the gym every morning, it takes the spin class, that gets the eucalyptus mint soak towel, that goes into the sauna, that gets the free green juice, you know, because you're paying just Where as much. You train. <laughs> you're paying just as much. You're paying to Equinox. That's what it was like in LA. Um, nice. But you're paying just as much money as that and that only goes every six weeks to take that one Zumba class, you know? So I'm like, if people really understand if they're using it to get their estate planning done, like all the stuff I teach that we need to do and all the stuff additionally they can use it for, the membership pays for itself in spades. Yeah, you know, you no, get absolutely. I am a member and honestly, yeah. it's, uh, for me, I have the $45 plan and covers everything that I need for now, but I can hear people saying like, okay, but if it's so amazing, Maureen, and you're doing it for free, where do you make your money? Because, you know, oh, well, we yeah. all know that. Well, I'm not doing it for free. I mean, I'm, I, my coaching platform is Your for free. coaching is free? Because it was the way that I was able to serve more people in bulk because I had such a big vision. And so I did spend a lot of money creating the Kajabi membership and platform. But the vision never was to charge from that. It was just allowing me to support more people with the Legal Shield services. Because don't get me wrong, I am one of the top producers in Legal Shield. Like I make commissions off of that but I'm not a salesperson. Like the only reason I was able to do that is because I wholeheartedly believe, believe in it. Um, and I saw a need and a gap and I love it. And I didn't want to just be able to serve 20 people a month. I didn't have the, the capacity to, it's kind of like doing group personal training classes, right? Or online training. It's like, I want to be able to help tens of thousands of people with their health, not just five people in my garage, you know, in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. And so that's why I created the platform and, um, you know, affiliate marketing, you know, and referral partnerships so that I could go present in other people's communities and really have it be a win, win, win. And so now that that platform's there and people go on the emails and they can access the legal lab and get all the contract templates they need and come to the fun implementation workshops and stuff. So I don't need to charge for that because I do get paid by Legal Shield. So yes. And those templates honestly saved me. Like, it's yeah. so amazing. Like, honestly, it's, I hate writing. I hate even thinking about writing. So having that, it was just like, you, you take this and then you have it approved by a lawyer and you yeah. move on. <laughs> but no, I, I did ask you that question, not that I asked that to any of my guests, mm -hmm. but um, because I wanted to bring it to the fact that you're also so powerful in network marketing. And mm -hmm. I think that one of the reasons why you're so successful and powerful is because you also always had the big vision of like, I'm not going for 10 people, I'm going for the world, <laughs> you know? So that's how you exploded and your, your website is amazing. Your personal website is amazing. So what's, what's next for you? Hmm. Well, I want to find my husband this year. Not on eHarmony. You're asking me on a personal level. Okay, so <laughs> ladies, not on a dating. <laughs> ladies, if you know anyone who doesn't like Nutella, yeah, who's, <laughs> who's allergic to eHarmony and does not like Nutella, let me know. Yeah, um, Maureen is available. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but, but on a um, the the vision for Legal Shield is actually getting more and more expansive. So I'm actually bringing what I've created on a I think to a corporate level within the company because I really want corporate to be able to take the educational tools that I've used to be able to have it available to all of the associates that work in Legal Shield because I feel like there are so many you know women or home-based entrepreneurs solopreneurs coaches that have no idea like it, it and i was one of them that's why i'm so passionate about it we have this vision we want to start a business it's like the freaking wild wild west out there no one knows what they're doing they just know i want to be a trauma coach healer or i'm sober and i want to help other women do this or i healed myself from autoimmune disease i'm going to get certified and do the same and then we have to invest so much money in business coaching and funnels and marketing because we can't help any of the people unless they come to us. And so I was trying to tell corporate, um, you know, we're really missing out if we can't find a way for all of the associates to be able to market to this space because it's only expanding. Um, I already knew what a big market it was because it was my community. 
Mm -hmm. You know, all my friends are in this online space. I was in it pre-COVID, but I said, especially after COVID, so many people have been forced to pivot or work from home or create those businesses. And we get to really figure out a way to support them and protect them so they don't get shut down in the year, so they don't have something bad happen, so they don't get sued, so they don't get that cease and desist letter because they knew nothing about owning their brand and trademarks. So yeah, the vision is big. Even if I'm not making commissions off of it, right? I want what I've created to be expanded so that um, all my friends can be helped and protected. You know, and on that, I want to, you know, take the time to pause and talk about that because um, it's not easy to walk into an old company. Like, let's say your company is 50 years old. So it's... Yeah. it's I've only been with them for two years too. So I'm like, who yeah. am I? To <laughs> yes, but regard, yeah. First of all, you're the baby in the family. <laughs> then you walk in and you're like, I will show you or I will suggest other ways to do what you have been doing for 50 years. <laughs> I feel like it takes a lot of guts. But what I want to bring here is that it's all your vision and the, the, the belief in your vision that you have and everything. Because I know how much efforts and money and all of that you've put in. You would have not done that if you wouldn't see like really the end result. So how do you... How do you develop such a vision and how do you stick by it like when things are not going that well? Yeah, that's a good question. And it's funny because the, the vision for for the corporate program, because in Legal Shield, you know, well, I think a lot of multi-level marketing companies, you know, there's your teams. Um, but then aside from the teams, there's these almost like clubs inside of Legal Shield that anyone can be part of. So we have this awesome one called Ladies of Justice, which is all about women empowering women. And then there's another one for young pros, which I've aged out of, right? That's like the 18 to 35 year olds, you know, so I'm not in the young pros, but that's kind of cool because it's like the new blood entrepreneurs, college kids. So they feel like they have a home and they're not with the, the old boys club who's been in for 27 years. But I was like, wow, I want to create influencers with impact. So that's the division I'm working on with corporate right now to create that, which will be, um, there will be a lot in there. But I think it's it's more sharing the vision with people. And then I think it's really important no matter what your vision is in whatever industry it's in or whether even if it's just a health goal, uh, being very clear about the vision and the why and then sharing it with people that believe in you and love about you and care about you. Because in those dark days when you're overwhelmed, and you need other people to remind you of your vision or why it's important for you and how it will actually benefit other people. Um, I was lucky enough to have people in the company or my friends that were like, absolutely not. God gave you this vision. It's huge. It matters. Or then going back and doing the presentation and seeing, I think, how much it really is helping other people you know, and making a difference and how excited other people are about it or like, oh my gosh, that is a genius idea. Like, yes, we need it. And I'm like, oh, really? Because I think we can get in our own head sometimes. I'm like, maybe this is really stupid or I don't know, or what am I doing? And it's, it's easier to not sometimes. Yeah. And so that's what worked for me. I've had so many people that were in my corner that really believed in it, that saw the vision, that saw what I was capable of, and then kept filling me up when I was depleted until I could fill my own cup again and then start running towards the goal again. So that's beautifully said. And uh, let me, you know, go on one point you said, like sometimes we're too much in our head. So right now we're talking business, but it's in everything. Yeah. Someone told me not too long ago because I teach time management. And for me, it's like time management is so basic really you want training on that but someone explained to me you know not too long ago it's probably because you're in your zone of genius so mm -hmm. when we're in our zone of genius and something that is natural to us we think that it's so simple for everyone but it's not and then people want to learn about it and want to be better at it but in our mind we're like we're really in our head thinking well it's so simple so you know what's the point and i feel like whether you're in business or in anything you know talk with a health coach and tell them how you're not mixing your macros and your fats and your carbs properly they will be like what that's so basic and you're like no it's not basic i don't understand or if you go to the gym and want to do a workout and you've never really looked into it you know, a personal trainer, it's natural to them. For you, it's like, it's, oh my goodness, I need them. So 
when we're in our head, like thinking, is it really worth for me to talk about that or teach about that? Get out of your head. We need it. <laughs> you know, and whatever you need for you is your gift. Actually, I knew someone said that I didn't think of the zone of genius before, but it's so true. Like spreadsheets are so easy for me. And some of my friends that don't have the analytical brain, they're like, how did you just copy? And like, what are you? It takes me two seconds. They don't know where the links are. They don't know how to bookmark something, but then comes to something else. They think it's so like song selection. Or I don't emotionally connect to music or writing. And that's just the way that they're, I mean, a song comes on and they're just like so moved by the lyrics and the whole song will be over. And I didn't hear a single, like I have to force myself to listen and actually read the lyrics. And it, it just doesn't process that way or languages. And, you know, that's so. That's why ER money doesn't work for you. <laughs> Oh, I'm still going to bug you with that now. Sorry. Um, so besides that, what's in for you? Like, what's your next step? So you're building, you've built your platform. Now you're taking it yeah. to corporate. And what's on the platform and building all my, um, you know, the way that I can support other people too. So even if you're listening and you're like, oh my gosh, Maureen, um, I have a whole community of women that need to hear this or something. Um, you know, I have my referral partners and way to compensate. So it's a win-win and can make you really pretty landing pages and all this stuff. So I really just want to meet more people, serve more people, go into collaboration because we all, like you said, we all have our zone of genius, you know, yeah. so it's going to be something that I need, I get to learn from everyone else and that I can contribute. I think we're just really not meant to do this life together, you know, and whatever, business we're building or things, personal goals that we have. Like I just so much have fallen in love with tribe in general, especially in COVID, like being single and being home alone all day on Zoom. Like my family has been on the computer. People are always like, you know, you must miss your family. And I'm like, one, I don't really have a close birth family, but I'm like, I have family all day long. It's like the Brady Bunch, right? Everyone in their <laughs> little spares, you know, it's kept me from going insane. And now that we can start traveling again and socializing and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I just want to continue to travel. I'm going to keep doing more ministry work. I've been involved with my Lighthouse Leadership Ministry, growing my vision and business. Um, time management's in the gap for me. So maybe we get to talk about that because that is not my zone of genius. And I know that I can very much make my time more efficient um so yeah awesome well i'm excited for you for everything that is coming can't Thanks. wait to meet your husband um and you know if you if you are not seeing maureen because you are only listening right now she is gorgeous she's cool to hang out with she's super smart and brilliant so um call her <laughs> just joking but you know on the on the business side you are brilliant and it is you know you are a cool person to to hang out with and what I like is that when you explain stuff it's in it's in English <laughs> and it's easy to understand so you really put everything at a, at a very easy to understand level so that legal is not scary like sometimes it can be because Sometimes stuff happen and we always think, um, you know, I have to call a lawyer and then we don't know. You have a way of bringing that like very simple and, you know, on the table. So everyone, I will put Maureen's information um, with the podcast. Contact her if you have any questions. And um, also Maureen will be part of the book that we're launching on September 22nd. 22 powerful women in network marketing revealed their keys to success. So not only is she brilliant in her in the field of legal, but she's also brilliant in her company. So she has a lot of keys and tips and pros to share. And honestly, whether you're in network marketing or not, that book will be super inspiring because you will get to know all of the authors. Mm -hmm. So Ma Maureen, what would you leave people that the, the one thing you would say to leave them with? Um, well, I love that you just talked about, uh, you know, we touched on vision a little bit earlier. So I would say, um, get really clear on what your vision is. Like have a life mission statement, even if you don't have your own business. Like what is your why, bigger purpose, that big calling that you have and get into the practice of looking at that and spending time with that daily. Some days it might be a minute, some days it might be 10 minutes, could be in your morning practice, evening practice. But that is something that has really, really served me, no matter what I was creating at that point in my life. 
So, I love it. Yeah. And yes, and that's, you know, um, now you're reminding me when you said that at first, be clear. I think that this is one of your strengths, uh, why you're able to um, achieve your vision because you explain it so clearly. So people see it as you explain it. And you can only do that if you took the time to be clear with yourself and to really detail everything. So have a vision, super important. Maureen, thank you so much for being with us. Mm -hmm. Everyone out there, thank you for listening to us. <laughs> and um, if you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at info at simplycaroline.com. Maureen's website is getlegallysmart.com. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And I will also put it uh, with the podcast information. So everyone have a beautiful week. Bye, everyone. Thank you.